Hello, my name is Ernie Keane, and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of Avid Apex. Apex is a comprehensive medium fidelity aerodynamic tool that's capable of analyzing full aircraft configurations. It can analyze subsonic, transonic, and supersonic flow. It can handle full parasite drag buildups, the effects of leading and trailing edge high lift devices, control devices, and it includes a prediction of drag divergence. More importantly, it's designed to interface directly with parametric geometry modelers such as Avid Page and NASA Vehicle Sketchpad. What I'm going to do in this demonstration is give you a brief walkthrough of the GUI environment, demonstrate some sample re results for the case that you see on the screen, and then talk you through the various analysis options. So the GUI environment consists of uh, primarily of three windows. Uh, the first is the vehicle window, the geometry and plotting window, and the properties window. We'll talk more about these in, in, uh, later on in the, in the demonstration. What you see in the, currently in the geometry panel is a, is a simple configuration that was imported directly from Avid Page. Uh, the coloration that you see on the wing comes from the underlying vortex lattice code uh, upon which Apex is built. To demonstrate some of the sample results for this case, I'm going to close the properties window so that, so that we have more space. Uh, if, you, if you go to the taskbar at the top, under plot, there are various plotting options. And we can click on any of these to, to view the data. For example, CL versus CED, the drag pullers. If we click on that and then toggle to the plotting window, we can see that the drag pullers are, are visualized uh, directly. Notice uh, here that uh, we see some difference in the drag polars as we begin to uh, get into transonics. Uh, this is the beginning of the, the transonic drag rise. Similarly, we can look at CL versus alpha, and we see a similar uh, increase in lift curve slope with increasing Mach number. And at higher alphas, the beginning of transonic lift rise. In addition to viewing aircraft uh, quantities, we can look at the span loading quantities along the wing. For example, the wing loading along the, the span. Here it's shown uh, at various Mach and Alpha combinations. Uh, most interesting, interestingly, the ones that you see on the top show that the, the increase in the wing loading where we have uh, local areas with upper surface shock. If we can also view where this shock location is along the wing, uh, this is again showing all the Mach and Alpha cases uh, where everything being along the zero means that there's no shock. Uh, for the two cases where we do have shock, this shows you the, the cord location and the spanwise extent of that shock. Uh, note that as we go up in alpha, the, indeed the shock shifts aft. Uh, we begin to see the shock unsweeping towards the root. Uh, if we carry this forward still, uh, the shock would be farther aft and would show unsweeping at both the root and the tip. So these are some of the, the plotting options that are available. And of course, the data can be imported directly into a spreadsheet as well. We can bring back the Properties tab, toggle back to the Geometry, and we'll talk through some of the, the analysis options. In the Vehicle panel, uh, you can see basically what is a component tree uh, showing all the components that are listed. We have uh, a main wing, horizontal tail, vertical tail, and a fuselage component. When we click on any of these components, the Properties are shown in the Properties tab. Staying right now on the Vehicle tab, we see uh, in under the geometry tab we see that the vehicle component uh, the vehicle properties are, are shown more importantly in these tabs at the bottom flight conditions leading and trailing edge schedules and trim we have the analysis options that control the run uh, for example we have print options uh, where you can select various levels of uh, 
uh, fidelity on the, on the details. Uh, we can turn thick wing corrections on and off, which, is, which allows our vortex lattice method to run uh, in a thick wing or a thin wing mode. Uh, we have various stability and control options, uh, which calculates the static uh, stability and control derivatives. Uh, calculation option: We can we can run the run Avid Apex uh, in Vorlax mode only, which is the vortex lattice code. We can run it as the normal, which basically takes the vortex lattice results and adds a zonal method to f uh, predict where the flow becomes critical, uh, or in low speed flow where we begin to see uh, these Carlson the inclusion of these Carlson calculations, which is a leading edge suction limiter. We also have uh, some analysis options such as mission analysis and maneuver loads analysis. Mission analysis allows us to specify a gross weight and the vehicle will, will be trimmed to that gross weight at each Mach and Alpha that we evaluate. Maneuver loads analysis is currently only an option for hybrid wing body configurations where it calculates the uh, cordwise and spanwise load distribution on the center body of a hybrid wing body aircraft. Takeoff gross weight is used in the mission analysis calculations only. We can also specify a parasite drag increment where if the user knows a given drag increment they can add it directly. We can specify a side slip angle. Uh, at, at this point uh, the side slip angle is treated as constant for all the Mach and Alpha cases that are evaluated. The two tables that you see below contain the Mach number and Alpha uh, arrays that we want to evaluate. The first table contains Mach, altitude, reference Alpha for stability calculations, and the weight fraction. So clearly the case that we've run here contains several Mach numbers running up a range of running th well, well through transonics. The table below contains the alpha array, the angle of attack array, and we've specified a, a given array that I demonstrated earlier. So this, this tab, the flight conditions tab, controls most of all the analysis options. We can also specify leading and trailing edge schedules and that any uh, leading edge or trailing edge devices that we have installed on the aircraft can be scheduled with uh, Mach number and with alpha to a, a given deflection. Uh, so basically it, it sees what Mach number is being run and it adjusts the, the high lift devices accordingly. We can also specify trim by specifying a trim range. For example, if we wanted to trim uh, below Mach 4, then these would be set to true. The way that uh, trim is accomplished is we specify a trimming component. You can see over in the vehicle panel that we have the options to specify a trimming component. For example, we can specify horizontal tail as our trimming component, and it will either tr trim by installed devices on that component or by deflecting the whole device, uh, for example, as a, a full flying tail. If we select any of the components in the vehicle tree, we get information about that component. For example, we click on the main wing. We see the geometric information for the main wing. We also have the option, as you see down here, wing factors and device factors. We can specify different factors on the wing. For example, we can control scaling factors for drag. We see here friction, excrescence, wave, and interference drag. We can scale the CL max calculation. We can control the fraction of turbulent flow that, are on, that is seen on the wing. For example, right now it's set to 0.8, meaning that 80% of the wing is considered turbulent. We can control the critical Mach delta, meaning uh, we can vary up and down uh, the critical Mach that is calculated for that component. Apex does its own internal calculation and we have some control over that. We can also change the density of the vortex lattice uh, paneling 
th through uh, these this control with span wise panels and cord wise panels. As you see in the vehicle panel, the main wing actually consists of several sections. I'll expand one. If you click on the section, you get even more geometric information uh, about that particular section. This, the section is also where various leading edge, trailing edge, and control devices are installed. You can see here uh, leading edge devices and trailing edge devices. Uh, we have drop down menus where you can s select the type of device that you want to be installed on that section. For example, on trailing edge, you can install plane flaps, split flaps, slotted flaps, Fowler flaps, or an elevator control device. Again, uh, clicking on any of the other components, for example, the fuselage, you see the same geometric properties, and you have the opportunity to control the factors, uh, the scaling factors for that component. So this concludes a, a brief walkthrough of Avid Apex. Uh, for more information on Apex or for other Avid uh, software tools or services, uh, please contact www.avidaerospace.com.